So just scouting in the yard a little bit, looking for insects and diseases. This is a blue holly. So blue hollies will have what's called camellia scales. So you see that black? The black is called sooty mold, which is a general term. It usually means an insect is feeding on something in the black the dirty portion, it's just the insect's waste. So it just turns everything black and kind of gross, but that's a good indicator so you know what to look like, look for. And on the back side of the leaves, you'll see these little dots just above my fingertips. And those are how the insect overwinters. They're like little teeny tiny little oval peach things. And in the summertime when they get going, they'll turn white, look like talcum powder on the back of the leaf. Very common pest on yews. Blue hollies, Japanese hollies, China girl hollies, um, and it's easily controlled with one or horticultural oil spray, which just actually suffocates them. So look for this gross black, but usually if you have hollies or use Japanese hollies, you'll have it. Easy control. And then coming over here, we see a mountain laurel, and mountain laurels have these leaf spots. You see those back? Those are fungal leaf spots, and you'll be hard pressed to find a mountain laurel that you don't see that on. And this is a little more of a difficult control because it's three fungicides. We're not gonna cure the existing leaves that are damaged. What we're gonna do is go after the new growth, and as the new growth emerges, we treat it with a fungicide every seven days. So when the leaf just starts to emerge about the size of your fingernail, and then about halfway out, and then when it's fully off, hardened off, the idea of the fungicides, three treatments just keeps the epidermis of the leaf from being able to be penetrated by that, that fungal leaf spot. And it does really help with the aesthetics, but more importantly, the health of the plant, because these are last year's leaves and these will drop prematurely. So usually evergreens will hold, you know, two years worth of growth and they'll drop their third year growth, whether it's needles or broadleaf evergreens, that's how evergreens work. So if they're dropping one set of leaves prematurely because they've been compromised by this fungus, that does affect the health of the plant as well. And then we've got some boxwood here, and boxwoods have all sorts of pests. And what we have a little bit here, as you can see closely, this little white, is that's called psyllid. And psyllid looks like a type of aphid. Pretty harmless, not the most common insect you see on boxwoods. Um, it is common, excuse me, but it's not the most detrimental. They get a leaf miner, which really does a number on it, where a fly will lay an egg inside the leaf and becomes a worm and the worm hollows out the leaf. And a lot of times how we notice that is because the leaves become brown because they have no integrity because they've been hollowed out. So they just die off and turn brown like this broken piece that shows desiccation. They'll also get spider mites and there's a few diseases that are more problematic. But the number one thing we need to control is the leaf miner, which can be controlled with a systemic treatment. Hard pressed to find boxwoods that don't have that on there. So these, throw, these shrubs will show you three very common problems we see in the garden. Two are insects, one is a disease. With treatment, you can keep the plants healthy, but just something to look at and look for when you're out in the garden, spotting plants.